Hello and welcome to 10 days post show follow up the video. I just wanted to touch base right now and then I'm going to um, go into a little bit more depth when I get home. I just finished my first weight training leg day in about 10 days. I've been staying active and doing cardio just to kind of stay on top of things because I've definitely been indulging a lot. You know, there's some topics that I want to cover including post-show blues and or depression as well as the binge eating struggle which is real and just just mentally and physically the rebound effect after being in such a restricted regimented routine for so long. I really struggled even with coming to the gym today. All my way here I questioned why I was doing it. I questioned why Hey. I was questioning Okay, there's a dog barking at me. Anyways, I questioned why I was coming here and if I still wanted to do this at all in terms of working out and lifting weights. Honestly, as soon as I got down to the weight room and near squat rack, I was just so pumped and excited and I felt strong. I just missed that feeling of feeling really strong and wanting to just attack the weight. Feeling really good, really happy that I came and you know, I will cover more when I get home because I gotta go home and eat. Hey guys, so I actually just got back from the gym. Just completed a shoulder workout. As you know, one of my faves. It has been approximately well, it's been actually 11 days since my show and I thought I should do a little check-in and just not only for all of you but for myself to look back on because emotions and headspace and my body everything's changing all the time and so I wanted to kind of like touch base at this point in this little experience slash journey that I'm on basically I wanted to make this video specifically about a term that's been floating around um, in the bodybuilding industry and it's called post-show blues um, and it's something that a lot of competitors feel I guess after their show they feel a little down depressed lost and I definitely can relate to that so first thing I want to talk about is the competition itself um, as you may or may not know, I placed second in my class, my novice class. So that's for people that are first time competitors that have never competed. And then I also placed third in the short open class, which was for my height class, but all the different ages not and experienced uh, competitors. So I placed third in that one. Um, one thing to note if you're going into a bodybuilding competition into the sport is that most competitors will say that the most important thing is that you're going in and competing you know for yourself and not to win because it's such a subjective sport but anybody that knows me knows that I'm super competitive and um, definitely wanted to win I just want to win at anything that I do in placing how I placed in my show, I, you know, I was a little disappointed. I really wanted to go out there and just like clean sweep it all the way through, um, but that's just me. But I wasn't, that really didn't bother me too much. I was happy with, you know, placing at all. However, another part of post-show blues is that feeling of no longer having something to be working towards. Um, honestly, in this first week and a bit that I've had off, it's been really tough to navigate how I feel about fitness, how I feel about working out, how I feel about having a routine. Um, before bodybuilding, I was playing sports and, and my whole life has been centered around you know competing. So when the competition was over, it does make you feel like you kind of lost a bit of your direction of what you're gonna do next. Luckily I had a coach and also a support system 
Um, and as well as I did a lot of research on my own and I knew it was important to maintain some sort of routine in this last week and a bit. So I had been still going to the gym here and there, doing some cardio, as well as doing some other physical things, going for hikes and things like that, just to stay active. Um, another difficult challenge is dealing with food after a show. Binge eating is a real issue for competitors. A lot of competitors can develop eating disorders. It's a very serious thing and it's something that I was super aware of going into this um, competition prep as well as coming out of it. I was, I've been very cautious and I've tried to be very self-aware and communicate a lot with everyone around me about how I'm feeling about food and all of that because honestly when I first, the first week off, I had this feeling of like I wanted to try everything but also at the same time I felt so overwhelmed I didn't even know what I wanted to eat. Um, There's times when I went to the grocery store or restaurants and just stared at menus and looked around and didn't even know where to start in terms of what I even wanted and unfortunately a lot of the foods that I was so excited to eat by the time I was able to eat them the luster had kind of worn off and it, that's kind of another part of the post-show blues is that you think that you're gonna have all these majestical moments when you finally get to eat a muffin or when you finally get to not have to go to the gym but then you just realize you're just back in regular life and it doesn't really feel that different. Um, I definitely binged on chocolate a few times and over ate a few days, honestly. Um, my coach is explaining to me a good metaphor or analogy is that it's like trying to pour like a 2-6 into a shot glass in terms of like when you're trying to eat um, all these big meals when you haven't been eating that much for a while. And my stomach actually almost was felt uncomfortably full and bloated a few times. Um, and yeah, felt a little bit down about the competition being over. I felt a bit down about you know, being able to eat food and my mind not being like blown by the amazingness of all the foods that I had been thinking about wanting for so long. Um, I also felt down about allowing myself to overeat and eating things that I knew weren't the best for me and eating emotionally for sure. I also felt down about my relationship with the gym because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do anymore. I wasn't feeling like I had a plan anymore or I didn't know if it was a healthy thing for me to be involved in fitness the way that I had been in the past. And I was concerned for my mental health and my physical health. The competition did take a definite toll on my physical health as well. I haven't spoken about it yet. Um, my cycle stopped and I missed my last uh, menstrual cycle prior to the competition and since then I've missed a second one so that has been a hard thing mentally and emotionally and hormonally to deal with and I do have a doctor's appointment scheduled and I'm gonna get my blood work done and that's such an important thing to do especially if you have been affected as deeply as I have on a hormonal level so you have real emotions you're affected hormonally and also just psychologically to be so focused and so determined for one goal for one day and um, when that day comes and goes um, you I was living breathing like you you could ask Skylar you can ask my family you can ask friends you can ask co-workers this competition I've been obsessing over for 16 weeks it has been everything that I talk about think about working towards so when that's over and now you're just back to regular life and going to work and eating whatever foods and you know open schedule to do what you want it, it is a bit overwhelming however i do have to say that in staying active just really focused on my relationships with my partner and my family and my friends and kind of reconnecting has been something that's really helped me feel not as down and honestly in the last few days I dragged myself to the gym to start doing my weight training I hadn't gotten into that yet and the moment that I got in there 
I felt this huge relief and excitement because I remembered the reasons why I even started going to the gym in the first place. I love lifting weights. I love the feeling of gaining strength. I love creating my own personal goals at the gym. It's been hard too because I've had people at my gym come up to me and ask me about my competition. How did it go? They saw me training for the past four months for it. Um, and you know, everyone's excited for me about how I did, but they also ask me like, what are my plans now? What am I gonna do next? And honestly, my answer right now is I really wanna focus just on getting back to more balanced approach to dieting, a more balanced approach to working out. I want to get my hormones back in check. That's really important to me right now and just being to overall very healthy inside and out. Another part of Post Show Blues is the fact that you will gain weight. In all honesty, it's been scary. It's been scary to know that I'm eating more and that food, that weight's gonna come back on. I have body image issues, just like I'm sure many of you do out there. And the sad thing is, is when I was at my absolute most lean for this show, I, I still wasn't satisfied with how I looked and I don't like the photos that I see. I don't feel like, oh, that's me in my most perfect body or something like that. I still see flaws. I still see things that I wish looked different. But in saying that, it's also reminded me that in chasing perfection, you will never be happy. I will never find happiness in chasing some perfect physique. So right now, as the weight is starting to come back on, I actually weighed myself today. 115.6 pounds, 19.6% body fat. Not so bad. I'm just really focused on that meaning that I'm getting to a healthier place and also that I'm gonna be start, starting to regain some muscle that I definitely lost during this contest prep. I really wanna build up my strength. That's my biggest focus. It's not so much focused right now on how my physique looks, but how I feel and how strong I can get. There's another term out there that is quite controversial, which is the reverse dieting, and a lot of competitors will use that term, but it can mean different things to different people. For me, it means that I was dieting down and cutting down and lowering my macros and lowering my calories, and now I'm reversing back up to a level that is maintainable and healthy for me. Things that I found successful in avoiding post-show blues or at least minimizing them is to continue somewhat of a routine post-show um, in terms of working out as well as tracking my food to a certain extent. So I'm at least getting enough of the macros that I require so that I can, you know, feel better overall. That's kind of where I'm at right now. If you have any questions about post-show blues or is there anything more you want me to go in depth about, please comment below. The struggle is real post-show. It's no joke and um, I think that's important to share. Um, I want to be here for you. So comment below. Let me know. Feel free to subscribe to my channel because there's going to be lots of new content coming out. Um, as well as give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you and if you'd like to see more of this topic. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks again for all your support throughout my competition. And I'll see you in the next one.